Hey, bro. Any luck today? Maybe? Yeah? No? Well, I'll let you do your thing, man. I was gonna fish the canal, but uh, it's looking a little dried up. I think we're gonna pass on that. So guys, we are on the Potomac River, and every single time I come out here, it's like a new place. I'm in a different section of the river that I've never been to before. So let's walk over here and uh, see what's up. Woo, all right. This is what we're dealing with right here today. We have a dam, which would be cool to fish underneath it actually. Then across we have the Potomac River. You know what, let's somehow try to get down there and uh, fish along the dam first. And after that, we'll see where today takes us. All right. Hello. you. Ah. <laughs> Looking grassy back here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, woo. All right, well that wasn't too bad. Ah, ah. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. All right. Woo! Ah! Beautiful. We've got the flowing river right here. We can go across later today and see what's up. But for right now, let's try fishing directly under that little dam right there and see what we can catch. Let's select our starting bait for today. And you know what? I'm definitely thinking square bow crank bait. I know there's quite a bit of shad. Let's just go with a shad colored banger. And you know what, this guy looks pretty good. Keep it nice and simple. Start with this right here. All right. Ugh. We're in business, boys. But before we head over there, why don't we try to carefully make our way across. What are those things? Is that poop? What is that? Mushrooms? I don't know. Woo! No falling today, please. Let's just let's just launch a couple casts right here. It's a little shallow, shallow, rocky. Water's clear, so if there is going to be a fish, I would definitely expect it to be behind a rock in an eddy, somewhere where they won't have to expend a lot of energy. Somewhere like right about there. Pull the bait across the rocks. Any bites? All right, that would have been the spot. Okay, it's very shallow. So it's not a bad thing. Because the fish are less likely to be here, that just means that they're probably more likely to be somewhere where it's deeper, like under those falls. But we're just gonna go ahead and launch one or two more casts while we're ready here. You never know what might happen. It's very shallow here. It looks like about one foot or less most of it, so I should be able to cross later. But for now, let's try to make it uh, that away. Uh, here we go, baby. This could be the juice right here. <laughs> Woo! It's a bit fast today. We're gonna have to be extremely careful that we don't bust our nuts over here. All right, Woo. low center of gravity, walk nice and slow, try to look where you are stepping. This is definitely a little bit treacherous, but the trickier it is to fish, the more likely you could find a hidden gem. Could very well be worth it. Whoa, whoa, geez Louise. This is some fast car, boys. I'll tell you guys what, the average angler ain't going through this to go fish whatever's over there. We could find an absolute hidden 
Oh, getting deep, getting deep. Hidden jam. If I can make it. That's a big if. Oh, deep hole, deep hole. Oh my God, oh my God, deep hole. That was a channel, that was a channel. I'm stoked. I think we made it. Woo. Okay, we're in it. We're definitely in it, boys. Ugh. All right. And that right there is why you never underestimate the creek and or river. One second, I'm walking through one foot of water like this. Second second, I'm going through a raging whirlpool. My GoPro goes under, I go under. Not, not my head fortunately, but literally I did not see that coming at all. I mean, who would have expected this whole place looks like to be one foot deep? Then right there, that got deep as heck. Very dangerous, but the good news is we now have this whole area to explore. I'm shaking right now. Got my adrenaline pumping. Let's catch some fish. Oh yeah. Come on fish, something be over here. Oh, oh, just got chased. I just got chased. First cast under the fall. Oh, bump. I got hit again. Come on, come on. All right, something's here guys. Something's living under here. This could get real juicy in just a second. Number one, we on, baby. Are we on? Oh yeah! Look at that. Oh, he's high. He's trying to dig into the rocks. This guy's smart, dude. This guy is freaking tough too. That is the power of a river smallie right here, my friend. Woo! Get in the boat. Yes, sir. Tuh, in my mouth. Feels good, man. Just switch my bait, and this, my friends, is exactly what we look for in a place like this. Beautiful, healthy river smallmouth. Let's go ahead and get him unhooked. I'll show you guys what bait I'm using in a second. But let's get this nose piercing out of you, buddy. Let's go ahead and check you out. Nice and plump. Just about what you'd expect for a average sized river smallmouth. Fish number one of the day. The move is uh, paying off so far. Let's let you go right over here so I can watch you swim off. Boop. There she goes. So here's the deal. The water is actually a lot clearer than I was expecting, especially around the moving water. It's very, very clear. So did not get any bites in the banger, fished it for about 20 minutes. Then I decided it's time to pull out the 2.8 inch Saucy Swimmer. Nice natural color pattern, 1 8 ounce jig head, very realistic minnow head. I'm just fishing this, what I'm doing, casting right under the falls, jigging it. And after I jig it a couple times, slowly swim it back so I don't get snagged in any rocks. That was fish number one. We've got quite a bit of water to cover here. I've got a feeling there's some big fish under these falls and I'm gonna catch them. There, another one right off the bat. Third cast in. Oh, he got off, dang it. Come on, dude. Oh, he pants me too. How's that possible? Dude, he bit my tail and got hooked? That's a little bit unusual. Well, let's go ahead and put this in here. We don't want to litter. Never litter, guys. And we're gonna pull out another saucy. I'm telling you guys, if you can find those hard to reach places and do it safely without getting hurt, it could be very worth it to find fish that potentially no one has ever, ever fished for. Cause you know, a boat has never been up here. A kayak has never been up here. A bank angler can only access this spot if they're as crazy as me. And who knows, I don't think there's that many anglers as crazy as me, I'll be honest. All right, we're back in here. Yep, 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 yep. As I was reeling it in, I just saved the GoPro clip. Dude, beautiful fish. Let's go ahead and play him. Here she comes. Ready? Get in the boat. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Air smallie, boys. 
Oh, it looks like about a carbon copy of the other one. Yeah! Dude, ultra sharp gripper teeth right here. Let me try, let me give you guys a better angle in the sunlight. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that thing is almost cutting my finger. It's so sharp and sandpaper like. Look at this. This fish is a young fish. Very small mouth, but look how she's built. Look how she's built. This fish is going to be an absolute football when she grows up. Look at the shoulders. Dude, that is a mini tank if I've ever seen one. This fish might be only a year old or less, honestly. Wait, look, go ahead and let her go. Boop. Bay is good. Let's get back in there. All right. Under the falls, nice and tight. Let it sink to the bottom. Jig it. Oh! I jig it right under the falls. Right next cast. Guys, I'm not making this up. We have found an absolute honey hole here. Absolute stack. Woo! So I don't think we're going to have much trouble finding the fish. The question is, will we be able to find the big fish? This one's a little, this one's a young fish right here. I'm not sure when she was born, but that one ain't very old. How are we going to get the big ones to come out? That's going to be the question for today. But for now, we're just going to keep repeating the exact same pattern. Under the falls, jig it, and we got another, oh, I got bit, I got bit. Dude, this is wild. Absolute madness. This is what I live for, by the way, guys. Find, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. This is exactly what I love exploring for. Finding places just like this. to be one over here at least one all right another little guy we're gonna change our strategy guys we're gonna find a big fish here don't you worry first up get in the boat oh all right well i almost touched him we'll count it but look how crazy this is i walked all the way from over there to right here flipping and pitching under these falls just like this i caught like five more dinks Nothing crazy, but look where we are now. We've made it to this open section of water. This whole area could be filled with fish. I'm actually gonna switch baits right now. We're gonna look for a bigger bite. First cast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa. All right. I saw that fish strike in the water. I snagged it, but that shows how aggressive these smallies are. Dude, look at this. Two things about this fish. Let me show you. Hold on. Don't hook me. Don't, oh, don't hook me. Please. I've never been hooked past the barb. Today ain't going to be the first day. I hope. There we go. Oh, he's biting my finger. Ultra aggressive. Now look at this, guys. Look at the... Stop, chill, stop, stop, stop! Dang it! All right, I was going to show you guys. His lip is all beat up. He's digging his face into the rocks looking for crawfish. We might have to switch to a bottom bait, but I'm a little afraid of getting snagged. We'll stick with the Junior Scout for now. Yep, yep, another one. Another one on the scout. Oh, this one's big. This one's bigger. This one's good. Dude, this one's pulling hard. Oh, it snagged again. Wait, can I not catch a fish in the mouth or what? Not cool. All right, well, it's big though. He's still big. 
He's still big. Still the biggest of the day. All right. Oh, uh, get in the boat. Yep. Uh, this is weird. I don't know, guys. A little bit unusual. Snag two fish in a row. I mean, we do have ultra sharp treble hooks on these bait, so I'm not completely surprised, but uh, uh, there we go. Dude, look how thick this fish is. Another fish with a very tiny, tiny mouth. Young fish eating like a champ. Wow. Dude, that's incredible. Let you go, buddy. I'm telling you guys, there's got to be a giant football somewhere in here. I don't know what bait we got to throw. Maybe we got to throw a little finesse jig with the crack and crawl trailer. I'll probably throw that next. But right in front of us, there has to be a big fish. My fish senses are tingling all over the place. Holy bejizo. I switched baits again, guys. I'm looking for that big bite still. Hey, 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 Okay, 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 okay. After I saw that one bass with that beat up lip, I knew some of them had to be feeding in the rocks. This guy uh, was looking for a little crawfish meal, but instead he got a face full of little juicy jig plus crack and crawl junior trailer. Very natural presentation. When I'm smallie fishing in clear water like we got here, there's basically three things I want to do. Number one, like I started with, saucy swimmer on a jig head to imitate a natural bait fish. Number two, I want to create a reaction strike, which is where this guy comes in right here, the junior scout. Jerk it as hard and fast as you can. This little three inch bait can call in those big mamas. They can't say no if they see this whizzing by their face. Trust me. And lastly, the third presentation I like to focus on is a natural crawfish presentation. I'll fish the dupe tube if there's a lot of grass. If there's a lot of rock like we got here, I'll fish the little juicy jig. This weed guard will prevent it from getting snagged. Equip it with a crack and crawl junior trailer. Beautiful crawfish imitation. We're gonna make a few more casts here. Then we're actually gonna somehow make it all the way over there to that giant rock and see what's going on over there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, smash it bro. I can't tell if it's big or small. Oh, it's big? It's big! It's big! That's the one! That's the one we've been waiting for, guys! Oh! Dude, we need the net! We need the net! 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 Oh, he's jumping! No, 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 no! Please! Please, please, please! 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 Get in the ball! Yeah! I told you guys! I told you! Big Mama was in here! I freaking told you guys! All day long, baby! Let's freaking go! With knowledge, persistence, dedication, woo! Oh, oh, wait, oh, no, no, stop, no, no, stop, chill, chill, bro. Ah, ah, my rod, no, my gold reel, no, my fish, no! I got her hooked, we're good. Uh, yes, sir! Woo, look at that fish, my friends. That is what you come out here to catch. There she is, guys, in all of her glory. Beautiful fish. Probably, I'd say this fish is just over two pounds or so, give or take, a couple ounces. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. All right. Let's keep her healthy. Woo, she's biting my finger. Check this out. She's biting my finger. Look, I'm not even holding her. I'm not even holding her. I wasn't even holding her. Look how aggressive this fish is. I'm still not holding her. Okay, I'm holding her a little bit. Dude, I'm gonna let you go. If you let go, if you don't, hey, I, look, no, no figure, I'm not, hey, buddy, I'm letting you go here. 
you just gotta not bite. Don't be so aggressive. Just go. Don't bite. Stop biting my finger. All right. There you go. There she goes. She finally realized it. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful out here. Not a single person that I have to share this spot with. It's hard. It was hard as heck getting out here. But I'll tell you guys what. 100% worth it. We haven't even made it to the big rock yet. You guys already know. I'm going to keep fishing. But all in all, the adventure pays off. And I'll be honest with you guys. I fish a lot of new places. And it doesn't always work out. For example, yesterday I fished MLK Park in Silver Spring. Caught five dinks. Not enough for a video, so I didn't post it for you guys. I have days where I get skunked, but I also have days when you come out. I caught over 20 fish today. It's only been a few hours. Explored, tried somewhere new, found this spot, paid off big time. That's what fishing's all about. Enjoy the adventure. I'll catch you next time, my friends. Peace.